Hey, shalom, shalom, kom yasha Allah, kom yasha Allah, peace and love to you all. I love you, and this is why I do what I do. I'm telling you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Each time you see me come on a YouTube video, I'm giving you love. And I thank all of you that's given the reciprocation of giving that love back and <clears throat> expounding it to others. But I want to get your attention real quick before I start this video. To all of my loyal subscribers, this is a message directly from Taza Doc Shah. I'm unable to do live streams on the channel Deprogram Enlightener, which has actually been the main channel for the next three months due to some debtor trolls flagging my YouTube video that's actually been up for over a year, by the way, how to prevent treasury direct account reversals has a doc's message to Harvey Dent and debtors. Now, the reason that they gave is violations of YouTube's policy on spam and deceptive practices. And they did this on today's date, May the 31st, 2018. And they said that this, you know, it's hard to put the effort in that this violation will be lifted within 90 days. So what I'm going to do is to ask you to go to my other YouTube channel and subscribe the Undaunted National on YouTube so you can still hear my live streams and all of my future uploads is going to be uploaded to that channel. So I'm trying to give you the heads up now. So you want to subscribe to that channel HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash undaunted national that's u-n-d-a-u-n-t-e-d -E national now i have experience with this before they used to flag my account so much because there's certain information that they just don't want out there understand that you know, and this kind of information, like, I, and I prophesized this a week ago, they don't want it out there. If you listen to a couple of my live streams, I say, I don't know how much longer I'll be up. And hey, the prophecy is actually coming to pass because the more, you know, critical information that I put out that's actually changing people's lives, they don't want this kind of information out there. So they would try to bring this message down. So I'm asking you to subscribe to my other YouTube channel, The Undaunted National. And for backup, also, you can subscribe to Universal Indigenous TV. Now, in my experience, when they flag my account once, like the Deprogram Enlightener, what they typically do is they'll try and find a couple more videos to flag and then, then just totally delete the channel. So... You could, you know, pretty much anticipate that channel being deleted. I don't intend to use it for the next 30 days after today. I'm going to put, you know, this video up here and then all of my uploads and live streams will actually come from the YouTube channel, The Undaunted National. The Undaunted National on YouTube. Subscribe to that channel now. Thanks for being loyal and thanks for help spreading this right knowledge and the truth through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and I love you. I like Shalom, 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 Kwam Yasha Allah, Kwam Yasha Allah. Once again, you're not under the sounds of the voice of your Kahan Taza Doc. And I'm here with Rachel. Rachel. So um, we're here to tell you about 
a creditors, well, what am I calling this event? The Creditors Seminar of Summer Redemption. Because if you attend this seminar, you're going to learn how to get redemption. And guess where we're holding this seminar? This seminar is going to be held in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania again. Because the last time that I actually done a seminar there, the people wanted me to come back. So not only am I coming back to do another seminar, but this seminar is actually going to be for two days. That's right, you heard me correctly. It's not going to just be a one-day seminar. So start planning now because this seminar is actually going to take place in two weeks. So you got two weeks to get your fiat together and attend this seminar. So, you know, the seminar is going to be held in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So everybody in New York, in the tri-states, in New Jersey, in Delaware, in Pennsylvania, there's no excuse that you shouldn't be there. But people that's coming from, you know, states far away, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia. Um, you know, I had a person flying from California the last time. So you will want to attend this seminar because it's going to be so much resourceful information. And the, si the, way, the reason that I decided to go up to two days is because I have not been able to get out all of the information in just a single day. So it's going to be two days, six hours each day from 12 noon to 6 p.m. And this is going to actually take place on Saturday, June the 16th, from 12 noon to 6 p.m. We're going to take a break at 6 p.m., and then we're going to come back Sunday on June the 17th, 12 noon to 6 p.m. in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. You want to attend this seminar, and so um, can you give them the address for this particular seminar, Rachel? The address will be 120 South 17th Street, Philadelphia, PA, 19103. One more time. Give it to him one more time. 120 South 17th Street, Philadelphia, PA, 19103. And it's going to be in the conference room at, what's the name of the hotel? The, what is, what is it? The well, I don't think it's on there. Um, so it's going to take place at the same hotel that I had it at the last time. I'm going to list the name of the hotel and the address under this video. You could go to the website and reserve your seat now because I'm probably going to limit it to 50 or 60 people. Um, don't want too many people in there, but it's going to cost you a little more in fiat because it's two days. And the building during there cost me $1,000. And by the time I incorporate um, my transportation there um, and my hotel is going to be way over 1000 I'm almost looking at 2 Gs. So you're going to have to put out your fiat to attend this seminar. And so the things that you will actually learn at this seminar is going to be different from all of the others. Um, so at this particular seminar, what you will actually do is you're going to learn how to establish business credit. A lot of you want to open your own businesses, but you've been realizing that you cannot do so with just personal credit. So I'm going to show you business credit secrets that a lot of people out there are charging you thousands of dollars to learn. If you attend this seminar, you're going to learn it by simply attending the seminar. The, some of the other things you're going to learn how to do is that how to properly present yourself in court. And I'm going to say this to you. A lot of you, you like to interrupt with a lot of questions. This time I challenge you to reserve your questions towards the end of the seminar on Sunday. You know, reserve your questions for Saturday towards the end of the seminar for that particular day and on Sunday for the end of the seminar on that particular day because I have a lot of slides that I really need to get through and I've actually been unable to complete these slides at previous seminars. And some people have actually left like, wow, they didn't even let them finish because you were actually asking so many questions. So you're going to learn how to, you know, some business credit secrets, how to present yourself in colorful venues, how to expunge a criminal record, how to improve your credit score in a week or less, um, and how Taza Doc successfully um, discharged values. Um, you're gonna learn how to successfully become a secured party creditor. You're gonna learn what you need to know how to become a secured party creditor. You got a lot of so-called sovereign gurus on the internet, but they're not giving you right knowledge. That they're, they're just giving you half truths they're giving you bits and pieces of informations they're not giving you full disclosure because they don't know i'm not really knocking them i'm just giving you the truth but i've been doing this for a long time and on top of that 
I come through the spirit of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah. I do all things through the spirit of Yahweh why Yahweh Shah, and this is why I always win. You got other people telling you all of these different things. Oh well, what about subrogation? And they don't really know what it is. A lot of you can't even use subrogation, but they're not teaching you that. There, there are certain criteria that you must meet to even be able to use subrogation. So, you know, with that, I believe um, the beautiful queen right here, the adorable queen, Rachel, may have some questions for me. So, you know, you can start firing away. And um, you need to listen well, because I'm pretty sure she's going to raise some questions that many of you may have. But by all means, you want to attend this two-day seminar. But I forgot. What's the rates for the seminar, um, um, Rachel? Donations are $80 online for one person and 150 for couples. Again, $80 online and 150 per couple. At the door is $90 for one person and $180 per couple. Again, at the door is $90 per one person and 180 per couple. Yeah, yeah, you appreciate that. So yeah, you're really wondering what ties it up. Where did it go up so much? It's not really going up a lot. It's going up because I had to put out so much for two days instead of one this time. So the seminar, I mean, you're getting a total of like 12 hours here. You're getting 12 hours of vital, essential information. And the problem is you keep cutting yourself short. So I'm going to have my books there. Those of you, and you know at the seminars, I always give you the books at a discount. Cheaper than what they are online. Much cheaper than what they are on, um, you know, you, when you get them. You, some of you, you go to Amazon, so on and so forth. And you got people that are selling you the books used. I'm going to give them to you at, you know, the best rate that I can. So take all of that in consideration, and you want to be at that seminar, uh, June 16th and June the 17th. Don't, don't make the mistake of trying to show up just one day because you're going to miss important information. Understand that. So with that, if you got some questions for me, um, Queen, you can store firing away. Thank you. Okay. When establishing a business, either small or big, how do I go about funding? Do I use my savings or do I go get a loan? Well, you know, me being a creditor, now debtor will actually answer that question differently. If you want to establish a business, this is why you need to be at this seminar because as you see, one of the things that I'm actually teaching is secrets of actually establishing business credit. So you will learn that answer because the answer is too detailed for me to give right here. But I could tell you, you don't want to just go and get any kind of loan, personal loan. So you want to establish some business credit. So it's someone that actually wants to start like a hotel chain or you want to start like some commercial real estate. You need business credit for that. And it's not as easy to get business credit. But if you attend this seminar for educational purposes, oh, I forgot to say, this is not legal advice. I do not offer legal advice. The beautiful queen here don't offer legal advice. If you need legal advice, seek yourself a competent counsel and please be advised. Everything that's actually stated in this video by myself or Rachel is just intended for informational, entertainment, and educational purposes only is not to be misconstrued as legal advice. But as far as the loans, you want to learn how to establish business credit, which is another reason I'm giving this seminar and why you should obtain and why you should be there. You gotta, one thing I wanna say, get rid of your damn excuses. If you keep making the same excuses, you're gonna look back five years from now and you're gonna be in the same predicament that you're in today. And you're gonna be one of those people that talking about I could have been and I should have been. Have you ever heard the story about the man or the woman that talked about what he could have done that almost was great? Me either. Because you don't hear about people like that. You hear about people that go beyond the limit. You hear about people that push themselves beyond perceived capacities. Those are the people that's remembered. Those are the people that's actually remembered as legends. So if you want to be ordinary, this may not be for you. If you want to be a debtor, this is not for you. But if you want to develop a creditor's mind state and you want to be totally free, attend the seminar. So next question. If I have bad credit or good credit or even thin credit, how does this affect my credit score? And who sees my credit score? 
And do they have access to my credit score? Well, here's one of the mistakes. I mean, bad credit, good credit. You know, it's deter that's actually essentially determined by what's on your credit report through the th three major credit bureaus. And one of the mistakes, let me just, one of the mistakes that people make, meet, make is that, sorry, one of the mistakes that people make is that they actually attend um, these things with credit scores and they get it from Credit Karma. And this is why they make a great mistake trying to get credit scores from Credit Karma. They don't give you an accurate credit report. So if you want an accurate credit report, you need to go through one of the three major credit reporting agencies, like Experian, uh, or you know, one of the others. But you want to check your score on all three major credit bureaus. Understand that. So now, what was your question again? How what determines good or bad credit? Yeah. Your, your credit score actually um, determines that. And this is why you want to attend this seminar because guess what? You will learn how to improve your credit score in a week or less by attending this seminar. Next question. How many credit scores do I have? You have one, uh, you, you have actually three different credit scores. Um, but again, I'll go into more detail on that um, in the seminar. And the credit score, the credit score that they're always looking at is your middle credit score. So there's three credit scores, but they're gonna look at the middle one. What is accepted for value? Well, according to House Joint Resolution 192 um, and Public Law 7310 and 48 Statute 48, according to what they put on their books under FDR, when he actually issued the money order and real money was actually taken out of circulation, and when I say real money, I'm talking about gold and silver, they gave the people a remedy that they could discharge debts on the public side. So that means any kind of public debt, according, not, to, not according to Taz Adopt, but according to their own statutes that they call laws, you could, if you're in proper status and you have proper standing, you can accept for value and discharge any public debt. That's not according to me. Go and check it out in House Joint Resolution 192 on Public Law 7310, 48 Statute 48. You can accept those from for value and discharge the alleged debt. So which means, when you understand this correctly, you have unlimited credit. But to have unlimited credit, you have to be in proper status, which means you are a secured party creditor. You can't do this as a debtor, not legally and not lawfully, because a debtor doesn't own anything. A debtor is a 14th Amendment citizen, which is a slave. Because what makes him a slave? The contract known as the 14th Amendment. So the driver's license, the 1040 form, they are all contracts. And these contracts comes with obligations, and you are obligated to adhere to that contract. And when you don't adhere to those particular contracts, you go in dishonor, and that's what slavery really is. Many of you think slavery is over, but you're volunteer slaves. You volunteer to be slaves by becoming a U.S. citizen. Because according to the con because according to um, the UCC code, um, 28 USC 3002 subsection 15A, the United States is a federal corporation. It is not a country. So they just got real crafty. Some real crafty, slick um, people decided to get together, and they created a corporation like Walmart, like Mary Kay, like BNBT Bank, like Chase Bank like Wackenhut, and they decided to call their corporation the United States. And you thought that they was talking about the 50 states united. But because you don't know law, I mean contracts, I mean law, you think that they're talking about the 50 states. But they're talking about a corporation. And you, or the, 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 the cattle, or the livestock, or the chattel property on that corporation. You ever heard about the insurance company, a state form? Where the state is a corporate entity, is a franchisees of the United States, which is in Washington, D.C., and you or the cattle, the livestock that's on the form, that's on the state form. Do you understand? So they're not kidding. It's really a state form. Next question. 
Why do I have to role play in court? You don't have to role play in court. You can remain in the status of a debtor. You don't have to role play. You could just go in in the status of a debtor and either get thrown in a box or pay a fine. How do I get my federal How do I get my federal records expunged? Well, I mean, another thing that we will actually be covering at the seminar is actually how to expunge a criminal record. So to answer that, it's in long detail. You're going to want to attend this seminar. And so, you know, as far as role plan, we will be doing that at the seminar. And the reason for role plan is because most people don't know how to stand effectively in court. They don't know what to do when they go into a court. They don't know how to present themselves. So they go and get a pro se cuter, a prosecutor, which puts you under the jurisdiction of the court. But at the same time, you're trying to go in and argue jurisdiction. So the judge see you as double minded and he's trying to send you to a site to get evaluated because you're coming in with a prosecutor. But at the same time, you want to challenge the jurisdiction. How can you challenge the jurisdiction when by getting an attorney, you're already under the jurisdiction of the court? Because when you look in corpus juris secundum, which is encyclopedias of law, volume seven, section four, it says an attorney or a lawyer's first obligation is to the court, to the public, and not to the client. To, to the client. So why do you have an attorney? Because you are a subject, because you are an incompetent ward of the state and you're not qualified to speak for yourself, so you have to employ an attorney to speak for you. But that's a conflict of interest because its first obligation is to the court. Next question. What is a SPC, secured party creditor, and how does that affect my life? Well, I mean, if you don't know what it is, this is why you need to actually attend the seminar to clearly understand. And I could just give a brief synopsis right here, but it's going to take the entire seminar to fully comprehend what a secure party creditor is. Some people just go on YouTube videos and they watch, oh, I want to become a secure party creditor. They're not giving you the whole um, truth of the matter. So a secure party creditor is someone that's actually come out of a debtor status, that's come out of a corporate ward status, and now they're competent enough to handle their own affairs. They're no longer under the jurisdiction of the corporate ward state. They're no longer under the jurisdiction of the de facto. They are indeed a free man and a free womb man, intelligent enough to make their own rational decisions and present them own selves in court as Surrey jurist or in propria persona. If you're not a secure party creditor, you can't do any of the things that I'm talking about because you're still a ward of the state, an incompetent ward of the state which means your status is that of a minor, of a child, which means you're not qualified to speak for themselves. Can a six-year-old represent themselves in court? Maybe. No, they cannot. A six-year-old cannot represent themselves in court. Why? Because they are a minor. So when you go in as a so-called an adult, the court sees you as a child and you're not competent enough to speak for yourself, so they hire, an, you either hire an attorney to speak for you, or they give you a public defender to speak for you. Do you understand? Do you understand? That's it with my questions. Okay. So, I mean, you have any other thing you might want to add? Like, I mean, you, you said very little during the course of this video. Yes, you may have something that you may want to add that may might inspire someone to attend the seminar or why they may attend the seminar. I mean, don't be Mike shy, Rachel. Shalom. I do want to invite you all to come to the seminar. It's going to really change your life. The things that he has to tell you, you won't get it from anyone else. Not the way that he's going to explain it to you. If you're worried about the funding, save now. Get to the seminar. It will really change your life. So, so, let, let me just interject. Especially to let me just interject for a second. You, you said, back up for a second. You, you said something about funding. It's only... What's the rate that I came up with here for one person online? Only $80. It's only $80. Listen, man, you pay more than that 
Now, I'm going to show you how the um, Negro mind works. You pay more than that for a damn pair of Jordans. You pay double that amount for rubber that you put on your feet. You know, what am I giving you? Something that's not only going to change your life, but for the better. You pay more than this to go to a movie with a family that's not going to change your life to watch some propaganda and more, and it programs you even more. So if you're not willing to invest eighty dollars for one person, and what is it, one fifty yeah, <coughs> for two people online, then you deserve to be a slave. You be, you deserve <coughs> to remain in the condition that you're in. And I'm just keeping it a buck with you. Continue. Don't remain in a debtor's mind state. You're not going to get too far in life. You have to be a creditor. You have to take care of yourself, take control of your own self. Don't let these people out here think they have control over you. So just come on down to the seminar. You're really going to be valued. You're not valued right now. Once you learn the things that he's going to teach you, you will be valued. All right, so, what, so with that, you know, I'm going to bring this to an end. Um, uh, you know, I'll slide over a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say, no, you can come. I just, just want to make sure I'm on the camera. Like this video. Share this video. Get this video out to your family members. Get this video to people that's actually in a debtor's mind state because they need it. This is like f food. This is nourishment for a sick mind. This is why you need to attend the seminar. Why you think I just call my um self the deprogram and lightener because you think the name is cool? No, because this information deprograms you, then it enlightens you with right knowledge. It gives you a sense of self-worth. It gives you the courage to stop being afraid of you know these constables on patrol. It gives you the courage to stop allowing people to infringe upon your rights. But if you don't know your rights, you don't have any. You understand that? It was once said, govern yourselves or it will be done for you. So if you don't govern yourself, the de facto will govern you. A lot of you, you're in real hectic situations. You, you don't know how you're gonna pay your rent. Some of you can't feed yourself. Some of you under the sounds of my voice right now, you're struggling. You don't even know how you're going to make it to the next, next paycheck. You don't have to be in that situation. You could get out of that situation. You need to properly educate yourselves. Some of you, you want to work for yourselves. You could work for yourselves. You got to first believe in yourself, but you're going to have to first get rid of all of that toxicity that you've been listening to from the naysayers. You're going to have to get all negative people from out of your circumference, out of your surroundings, out of your environment, and then you're gonna have to reinforce your negative thinking with positive mental reinforcement. In fact, you're gonna have to like extirpate all of that negative thinking, all of the negative people, because they're gonna keep you in a negative mind state. And as long as you keep thinking negative, you're never gonna change. If as long as you believe that you can't do something, guess what? You're right because you're speaking it into existence. Every time you think a thought, you start to act upon that thought. So if all you're thinking about is negative thinking, your life is gonna be negative. But if you replace that with positive thinking, you're gonna start going in a positive upward motion. So if you wanna be something, if you wanna be, let's say you wanna be a speaker, you gotta start thinking that you're, get off of that. You gotta start thinking that you're, get off of the pole, please, that you're a speaker already. Because you, you, once you start thinking it, you're going to start acting that out. And that's the way it needs to be. As a man think of in his heart, so is he, Proverbs 23, verse 7. So what you think in your heart is your mind, which is the core of your thinking. So you got to start thinking positive. You can be a creditor, but you got you to stop thinking like you've been thinking. You got to stop thinking, I can't do that. I'm not intelligent enough. You gotta start thinking, I am that right now. You wanna be wealthy? You gotta start acting like a wealthy person. You gotta start going, hanging out at places where wealthy people hang out at. That's how you gotta design your mind to think. So, if you wanna change your life, attend this seminar. Attend this credit seminar. Hope to see you in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on June the 16th and June the 17th. Two day seminar. $80 for one person, um, $150 for couples online. That's a couple, a couple, a man and a woman. None of the funny stuff. 
because this is a private meeting and we reserve the right who we allow to attend this particular meeting. Um, no drugs or anything like that. This is not about, you know, um, overthrowing any kind of governmental entity. This is about educating the people properly so that the people will know their rights and stand as a man and a woman. If you pay at the door, it's going to be more. It's going to be $90 at the door and, and, and it's going to be like 180 for two people if you pay at the door. Now, as you see, some seminars is like $45, $50. I've given you in a discount, even though I've extended for two days. So I'm taking the loss. I'm taking the L. So the only thing you need to do is just show up with a pen and a paper. No recording. I don't want no funny stuff because I don't want my information out there and somebody's like selling my information out there. And before someone starts spreading the rumor, this seminar is not going to be online. So don't even think it. It's not going to be live online. Every time I say I'm going to do a seminar, people start spreading a rumor. Oh, well, I'm going to watch the live one online. And so, no, no, you're not. It's not going to be live online. So, you know, with that, I'm going to say shalom. Um, you know, um, I'm going to say Islam to the Moors, Hotep to the Egyptologists, 165135 to the Nation of Gods and Earths, um, you know, peace and love to the whole black nation. And, you know, and for all of you, you know, people, you, you old Gentiles, oh, uh, can I attend if, if I'm, you know, a white person and so on and so forth? Hey, man, it's an open event. I just reserve a right who I determine I want and who I don't want. Now, if you're a rogue agent or work for any kind of governmental entity, if you attend this seminar and trying to, like, ascertain any kind of information, I reserve a right to charge you $10,000 over there and on immediately. So with that, I'm going to say shalom. We'll see you at the seminar. Kwame Asha'Allah.